Hello my dear students. In this video I'm going to talk about strictly diagonally dominant matrix. Any square matrix is called strictly diagonally dominant matrix if the absolute value of the leading diagonal entry is greater than the sum of the absolute values of other entries in that row. For example, we have a 3 by 3 square matrix whose first row entries are A11, A12, A13. The second row entries are A21, A22, A23. The third row entries are A31, A32, A33. Then the leading diagonal entries of this matrix are A11, A22, A33. Now this matrix is called strictly diagonally dominant matrix if the absolute value of the leading diagonal entry of the first row is greater than the sum of the absolute values of other two entries which are a12, a13. It means that the absolute value of a11 should be greater than the sum of the absolute value of a12 and a13. Similarly, the absolute and uh, absolute value of the leading diagonal entry of the entry of the second row which is a22 should be greater than the sum of the absolute values of the other two entries which are a21 and a23 similarly the absolute value of a33 which is the which is the leading diagonal entry of the third row should be greater than the sum of the absolute values of other two entries which are a31 and a32 so if if any square matrix satisfies this condition, we call that square matrix as strictly diagonally dominant matrix. For example, this matrix is strictly diagonally dominant matrix because the absolute value of minus 7 is greater than the sum of the absolute value of 1 and minus 2. Absolute value of 6 is greater than the sum of the absolute values of 0 and 5. Absolute value of minus 4 is greater than the sum of the absolute values of minus 1 and 1. Hence, this matrix satisfies the condition of the strictly diagonally dominant matrix. Whereas, this matrix is not strictly diagonally dominant matrix because the absolute value of minus 7 is not greater than the sum of the absolute value of 1 and minus 9 though it satisfies the condition for second and third row but it does not satisfy for the first row hence this matrix is called not strictly diagonally dominant matrix hello everybody this is dr eric if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more useful videos